Hey guys, and welcome to another unique weapon location guide. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, and I'm sorry, but uh, today I'm bringing you a, a rather interesting weapon. There's also a quest involved to get it. As you can see, I've got a Sky UI on, and also the, uh, well, there's a, a mod that changes the text font in the game, and you get a bunch to choose from, and I think this is the best. So uh, I'll probably cover that in a mod video, but anyway, back to this. It's called the Staff of Hag's Wrath, and uh, it's a really quite a, a awesome thing because it's not just a flame spell; it actually creates like a wall of fire. So uh, you know that that's pretty powerful. You can make it impossible for your enemies to get to you. It's actually a really good, uh, unique weapon, and um, now the way you get it is by heading to a location on the map called Dark Light Tower which is near Riften, it's sort of southwest from Riften, just so you know. And once you arrive at Dark Light Tower, uh, you, you go inside and the first thing you see should be this woman and she'll talk to you and then you'll start a quest and this quest is called Repentance. And uh, so yeah, there you can see Repentance. And basically, this quest involves fighting your way up the tower, which is what you can see here, and then you come out onto this area here. And uh, basically, the point of the quest is that blah blah blah, she doesn't want to be part of this cult anymore, and her mother is part of it, and blah blah blah. You've got to come up here and kill her mother. And uh, as you can see, I ever so kindly decapitated her, and. She's got that stuff, but it's nothing special. And she also carries the Staff of Hag's Wrath, which is the uh, the weapon that I'm covering. Where is it? There it is. So uh, as you can see, it's a very powerful weapon. And uh, yeah, guys, that about covers it for this. I didn't want to do what I did in, in previous episodes where I... Ooh, there's some good loot here. <laughs> where I actually show you the gameplay of me coming up here because all it was was really combat. I was kind of ignoring the quest line because I just wanted the uh, unique weapon. But um, apart from that, I I have like four Skyrim series on at the moment on, on all at the same time trying to get stuff done for them. So I that's the reasoning behind me cancelling the the main quest quest guides because they you know it's kind of common sense I you, you don't really get stuck on the main quest but uh so I've got four of those and I've got FIFA on the go as well as some uh, Minecraft Nightfall Island and some speed builds and Nightfall Island's going to be ending soon and then we're going to be picking something new up uh off the top of my head I don't think I'm doing any other series you you could correct me on that but apart from that, I'd, I kind of want to expand the Unique Weapon Location Guide series into just a general guide series to show you some like, pieces of armor, or especially difficult quests, or some easter eggs, or how to get really powerful weapons. And I'll probably in the future incorporate a, a series I did have planned, but sort of abandoned, where I, I would show you uh, about ten different character builds, and that sort of went into... Scott Shingoku Jedi series, where he did more sort of actual playstyle based ones, whereas mine are going to be sort of optimizing your character and uh, combat styles, not as in depth as Scott Shingoku Jedi's ones. But um, and but I'm going to try and incorporate this all into one series, apart from unique weapon locations, which is going to stay separate. Uh, so it's going to be. Basically, a, a, a guide series, and there's going to be, I don't know, like a piece of armor, or maybe one of those character builds that I'm going to show you, uh, that sort of thing. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.